Hey guys, Frosty Knives here, back with another video, and I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the status of the Star Wars Expanded Universe uh, reviews that we're going to be doing here in a couple of months. Um, a lot of people have been asking um, where are we going to start, or what, what books am I going to start with, what books am I going to review, what order am I going to review them in. Um, those are all valid questions, because um, there's about 150 give or take a couple original mainline novels in the Expanded Universe. Um, and we're not going to be reviewing them all, but we are going to be reviewing them, most of them. I'm not going to be reviewing them all, but we're going to be reviewing them most. That's proper English for you. Um, so uh, I've been going along and uh, looking up uh, chronologies, right? I'm looking for... Um, uh, Star Wars Expanded Universe uh, timeline chronologies to see, you know, what order the books fall in chronological order. And uh, I've gotten to about three, I've seen uh, about three of them, and uh, out of the three, I've gotten three different chronologies. Um, each one of them, they're all mostly the same, but um, slight differences here and there between them. But I finally found one on Wikipedia. Yeah, Wikipedia. And it has um, it has a pretty good expanded universe timeline. Now on Wikipedia, it's it's a timeline of everything um, in, in order of of chronological order when you should read it and how the books fall. And that, that that's everything. That's um, all of the novels, all of the graphic novels, young adult, junior readers, all all of it. Um, we're not. I'm not going to do all that. I am not going to read everything. It's not going to be a complete chronological read-through. Um, so, that being said, I'm not going to read any of the graphic novels, the comic books, the e-novels, the side, you know, things like that, any of the junior novels, young adult novels, any of that. I am sticking strictly with what they call the original novels, and the novel adaptations. What are the novel adaptations? Those are the novels based on the movies. Uh, so so there will be six of those, right? The prequel books and the original trilogy books. Uh, we'll, I'll be reading those too. So um, when it comes to where do you start in a beast like this, um, there's really two errors that you look at, right? There's two errors that everybody sort of focuses on. One is the Old Republic, Old Republic era, and then the and then there's um, what they call here the rise of the empire, but it's the Old Republic era, and then everything that sort of starts with the formation of the empire, and then onward from that, right? So you either go really really far back in time to the ancient Jedi order in the, in the Sith, and way back when you go four thousand years back, or you just go back. Um, 70 years before A New Hope, or uh, 70 years before Phantom Menace, and then you go from there. Um, so I'm not going to be reading any of the Old Republic novels, um, and based on this uh, chronology, I'm only going to be missing about nine novels, so I'm not going to be reading any of those. Um, it, there's, there's not a lot, there's only nine here of uh, original novels for the Old Republic, and that's kind of you know, that's a kind of unfortunate. I think they never really, they never dived deep into the Old Republic, and I think they wanted to, but then Disney happened, and then Expand the Universe got, you know, well, we know what happened to that, right? I think they wanted to, but then a lot of things got canceled, and Disney bought them, and then change it, plans changed, and whatnot. So, so there's a lot there, um, you know, un, untapped material there, but we, I am going to be starting with, really the seeds of the um the seeds of what the foundations of the empire and then going on from there up to up through the original pre prequels and then all the books in between that and clone wars and then original trilogies and then everything that happened after that so that in and of itself is about 142 novels um end to end so there's a lot of a lot of reading uh, there 
lot of people have asked me, what book are we gonna, uh, is, am I going to start with and, 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 and whatnot? I'm uh, going to start with this one, Darth Plagueis. This is where we're starting. This is, according to the timeline, this is 67 years uh, before New Hope. So this is where the journey will begin. This will be the first book that will get read and reviewed. Star Wars, Darth Plagueis. And then we're going to go from there. And we're going to go from there. Uh, you know, I'll get it after. Go from there in chronological order. Until we get to the very end. Um, which is 45 years after uh, New Hope. It's funny, that's, uh, New Hope is really the pivotal, um, that's how they, they, they do the, the time chronology, right? New Hope is really sort of the Jesus event of the Star Wars universe. And by Jesus event, I mean uh, the birth of Jesus changed the way we do time, right? There was BC and AD, and then everything was that was before Christ, and then after Christ, and all that stuff. And really, sort of, that's when time sort of started going forwards and backwards, right? Everything before went backwards, and everything after went forwards. That's how Yavin. That's how. That's how uh, um, Star Wars is. They they chose Yavin, the, the Battle of Yavin, at the end of New Hope. So you'll see when you read, if you read timelines, you'll see two sort of time periods. One is called BBY and one is called ABY. And all that is, is before the Battle of Yavin and after the Battle of Yavin. So we are going to be starting, according to this, 67 years before the Battle of Yavin. And we're going to be ending with Crucible, which takes place 45 years after the Battle of Yavin. So we're going to be covering a, well, what is that, 100-year time period, a century? Is that technically a century? Maybe a little bit more than a century? That's about, that's a little bit more than a century. We're going to be covering a little bit more of a century's worth of Star Wars timeline and stories. So that'll be, that'll be quite interesting. Um, so I think what I'll do is, you already know what book we're starting with. Well, I'm, uh, I'll start when, when I do get around to it because I'm still in the process of buying books. I got all these books up here um, that I just bought. They're new. They're they're starting to come in. Um, I've been I've been raiding the I've been raiding the um, the uh, the used bins and and whatnot. I tell you, thrift books has been a blessing and a curse. Uh, for stuff like this, because they, they got really good deals on, on used books, but it's also kind of dangerous because, you know, uh, you spend a lot of money that way. Um, so it's a good thing that I'm able to get the books, but it's also dangerous because it's going to cost a lot of money. But that's okay, because my collection will be fairly robust and complete, which is what I want. Uh, now that they're not making any more of these books, they're all done now because they're all under Disney. So Disney is doing its own novels, which I will not touch. So there's that. Um, once I get all of these novels, then, my, then, then this Expanded Universe Collection series will be complete. And that's really kind of what I'm going for. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is... Um, when I do a review, I will always tell you, you know, the next book in the series as we go along. Um, so, you know, we're going to start with Darth Plagueis, and then, you know, you go to the next book after that, which is Darth Maul, and then, so we'll go from there. So, you'll always know what, at least what the next book is, um, what I'll be reviewing, and then what's the next book after that. So, um, if anybody wants to follow along, uh, th th that's, that's how we're going. Um, if anybody wants to follow along, we're starting with Darth Plagueis. And then uh, once I do the review, read a review of that, I'll let you know what the next one is. And then so on and so forth and etc. and etc. and ad nauseum until we get all the way to the end. Um, so I'm really hoping to get this. I want to get a good... Right now I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine, you know, that I, I in a row that I could read. So I really want to kind of get a good base of books going. 
because I don't want to start reading it and then go, oh, I don't get to the next book and go, oh, I don't have, I don't have that. So now I got to wait till I get it. I just want to get a good base going. And that way, as I'm buying books, there'll at least be books that I will be getting to eventually, as opposed to, you know, I got to buy a book and then I go, well, we got to wait for the next review because I got to go find the next book in, in line. So I want to have a good base before we start that. And really the, the, the largest collection of books as I went through this, the largest collection of books that I don't have and have never read are the Clone Wars novels, right? So this whole page is Clone Wars novels and that's really a whole period of Star Wars time that I've never read. Um, you know, the Clone Wars was never told in the movies, right? In, in Attack of the Clones, which is right here, the Clone War started. And then in Revenge of the Sith, the Clone Wars ended. But we never had got all of the stuff in between, all the wars and battles in between. All that took place in the books, in the comics, in the animated series, and the TV shows. That's where the real meat of the Clone Wars took place. Uh, if you want to know about the battles and who fought what and where and why and who was doing what and planets and things. And I've never read the Clone Wars novel, so we'll be blazing, I'll be blazing new territory here to find out how, how those particular novels um, have been. Um, and then everything pretty much starting with uh, a lot of the old... Han Solo stuff, and then afterwards I've read a lot of it, but there will be times and things and books that will be new to me, you and me. We will be figuring them out together and learning about them together and reading about them together, so it's actually quite exciting to see what we're doing. So guys, that is where we stand with the Star Wars EU review and like I said, I am planning on hopefully starting that at the beginning of the year. So starting in January 2023, and then we'll see how long. It, it may take a while to get through 142 books in order with reviews. I mean, admittedly, they're easier reads. They're not terribly hard reads. They're not complicated reads. They're not dense reads. They're fairly easy, so they may go fairly at a good pace, but you never know. I will see what we see. So guys, that is my update on the Star Wars books and the un expand the universe and my plan as it stands right now, where we start and where we will go. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. And a subscribe, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell all your Star Wars enthusiasts and people who just want to have all of the useless Star Wars information packed into their heads. Because when we get done here with this, you guys are, if you follow along from end to end, you are going to know way more about the Star Wars Expanded Universe than you probably need or ever wanted to. So until next time, I will see you in the next video.